Hello, I'm Darren McGee, and the topic for today comes from a question asking what is meant by Munchausen syndrome by proxy, also known as fictitious disorder by proxy. Sometimes it's just referred to as Munchausen by proxy or MSP. So to put it into a context, the term Munchausen comes from a German cavalry officer named Baron von Munchausen who was renowned for his dramatic, made-up, often exaggerated, and untruthful stories. And it differs from Munchausen syndrome. That condition revolves around how an individual might purposely invent symptoms or cause harm to themselves to gain attention and sympathy. And I have made a video on that previously if you want to watch that. Where Munchausen by proxy differs is that although it too is a psychological disorder, the person seeks attention through those that they care about, those in their care. Most commonly it takes place in a parent-child relationship. However, it can take place in other relationships and dynamics. It could be with a partner, a parent, a sibling, even a close friend. So I'm going to refer to the person with Munchausen by proxy as the caregiver and the person they claim to care for as their victim. And I use the term victim because it can be a very insidious form of abuse. Insidious because it can be difficult to spot because of the dishonesty. The caregiver often appears to be very loving and very caring and are usually distraught over the other person's illness or condition. And the caregiver gains attention by seeking medical help or advice from professionals or indeed others for exaggerated, sometimes even made up symptoms for someone else. As I say, usually someone in their care. Now, sometimes there might not be anything wrong with their victim. They might be getting on just fine, but they invent, sometimes exaggerate symptoms and concerns. They may give cocktails of vitamin supplements as if they are life-saving medication. They can share their victim's symptoms or their concerns with others, asking for help, advice and support, but never really taking any. They feed off the concerns and the suggestions from others. However, in some cases, it can be a bit more sinister. They may alter tests or try to induce symptoms in someone, maybe feeding them food they know will bring about an allergic reaction, giving them medication they don't need or withholding medication they do need. When medical professionals try to identify or treat whatever is wrong with their victim, the list of symptoms may increase, become worse or morph into something else entirely. It's all about maintaining the illusion of an ongoing medical issue or issues. People with Munchausen by proxy thrive on the attention and the validation they receive from others, medical professionals, friends, family, the broader community, even on social media. Like others to perceive them as heroic caretakers, battling a medical crisis on behalf of someone else. And quite commonly, the dynamics of Munchausen by proxy involve a significant power imbalance between the caregiver and their victim. The victim may rely on the caregiver for their well-being and trusts them, believes their intentions are good and accepts their actions. People with Munchausen by proxy can sometimes be found on social media when other people are maybe with genuine illnesses, genuine conditions, or maybe discussing their lives, their conditions and so on. They're connecting with each other and they're supporting each other. So they post things like, my son, my daughter, my partner, whoever has this or has been exhibiting that, should I be concerned, what should I do? Again, feeding off the sympathy and the suggestions. And on social media, they can get to learn about other people's symptoms, which they can attribute to their victim, even exaggerate for greater effect. If they are on social media with others who have Munchausen by proxy, well, they all tend to feed off each other, validate each other with their never-ending lists of concerns and issues for those they care for. Now, as I said, Munchausen by proxy can be difficult to spot at first, but some of the indicators could be that, first of all, no one knows what's actually wrong with the person they care for. Medical professionals can never get to the bottom of it because of the ever-growing list of symptoms. Or maybe the person they care for does have an actual diagnosis of something, but no form of treatment can help. Sometimes it's making things worse. Also, given how quickly information spreads across the internet, you might find they latch on to whatever the latest illness or contagion is. The person in their care gets a new condition, a new illness, every time they learn about a new one. They might control their victim's diet. They might control who they interact with. They might control their medication. If their victim is an adult, they may insist on attending medical appointments with them and doing all the talking, so they limit their options and they create dependency. So in conclusion, Munchausen by proxy is a deeply troubling form of abuse that often goes unnoticed. The perpetrators can skillfully deceive medical professionals and others. 
they can fabricate, sometimes even induce medical issues in their victims. They manipulate the caregiving relationship to fulfill their own psychological needs for attention and control. Sometimes they even get praise for maybe having to fight so hard to get a diagnosis and treatment, sometimes for things that don't exist or for things that are perhaps easily treatable. There is a narcissistic element to it in the sense that ultimately it's all about them and the validation they receive. There is also a histrionic element to it given the drama they create for their own attention. The cases where they do induce symptoms deliberately make someone ill or insist on treatment or surgery the person doesn't actually need. There is also a manipulative and a sadistic side to the behaviour. And in many cases they are not discouraged by medical costs or the cost for excessive dietary or vitamin supplements, even the fact that maybe they had to give up or maybe lost their job to look after someone else. The belief being that the higher the personal cost to look after their victim, the higher the sacrifice, the more others will see them as selfless heroes. But ultimately it's all about themselves, not the person they care for. So that's a brief outline of Munchausen by proxy. Now as always there is more I could have added. Please feel free to use the comment box below or some interesting conversations start from these videos. But if you found this video interesting please consider subscribing to my channel and until next time thanks for watching.